Hello, Roadrunners. Today I'll be talking about when you might want to apply a Creative Commons license to your own class project and how to do that. It's actually really easy. Your instructor shared another video with you where you learned about Creative Commons licenses, which copyright holders can use to make their work open. This means people can copy, share, and remix a work without permission. So why would you, as a creator, want to encourage other people to use your work? Perhaps you're proud of your accomplishment or care about your message. You want it to be shared as widely as possible. Unless you add the no derivatives option, you're also giving other people permission to build on your work and do exciting new things with it for generations to come. Projects like Wikipedia couldn't exist without millions of people working together using open licenses. Let's also think about some reasons you might not choose to share your work. Of course, when you share your work with the whole world and encourage them to use it, your work is not just open, it's also public. Think about some consequences of making your work public. Are you sharing something that would make people angry enough to attack you? Are you prepared to deal with that? Are you sharing something personal that you don't want other people to know? If this is the case, you might also consider making your work anonymous or using a screen name instead of your real name. Talk to your instructor more if you want to share your work anonymously. You might also decide not to share your work for free if you plan to sell it in the future. Creative Commons licenses can't be taken back. Remember though, that as a new professional, you may want to promote your work before you can sell it. You might put an open license on an early work or part of your work as a way to encourage people to share it and build your brand. Some well-known creators share some or all of their work openly while still earning a living. These are just some of the things to consider before sharing your work openly, which also means publicly and freely. Can you think of some others? One other consideration before we review how to add a license. You should only add an open license to content that you made, apart from short quotes or screenshots, or that's also open. If you have questions about this, talk to a librarian first. Okay, let's dive into how to add a Creative Commons license to your work if you so choose. First, go to creativecommons.org. Then, click on the link that says Share Your Work. Under Choose a License, click Get Started. Under License Features, you get to choose options that were discussed in the last video. If you aren't sure what something means, click on the question mark icon or talk to a librarian. The box below License Features shows you the license you selected. In this case, I haven't changed any of the options, so my work only requires attribution. The next section gives you the option to include information about how you'd like to be credited by clicking on the link that says, this part is optional. Feel free to only fill out some of the fields. You can use a screen name or a pseudonym if you want. Last step, in the next box, copy the license icon and text and put it somewhere prominent on your work. If you have a web page and you know how to embed HTML, include the embed code. This will make it easier for others to find your work on the web. And if you do want other people to find and use your work, you might want to share it on social media and through your other networks and connections. Librarians may be able to suggest other places to share. In conclusion, remember, you're the copyright holder for the work you do at LBCC. Open licenses are an option to amplify your voice. Talk to your instructor or a librarian if you're still not sure whether or not they're right for your creation.